Imagine a friend who never leaves your messages unread. The blue check marks are always on and your phone calls are always picked up on the first ring. Al-Mujib. Al-Mujib means the one who responds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls himself Al-Mujib in the verse where he says, So ask forgiveness of him and then repent to him. Indeed, my Lord is near and responsive in Surah Tur. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and Noah had certainly called us and we are the best of responders. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that he's the only one who responds to us. Like who else responds to us? Allah says in Surah An-Naml, And who is the one who responds to the desperate when they call upon him? And who else removes evil and makes you inheritors of the earth? Is there an ilah? Is there a deity other than Allah? Little do you remember. There are some names that are considered to be keys of every other name. And this is one of them. This is one of those keys. So I want you to write down under the name Al-Mujib, I want you to write down key. Highlight that word. Because whenever you and I are looking to call upon someone, whenever you're going through your contact list on your phone, if you need something from someone, then you're always looking for two qualities. The first quality is, is this person able to do what I'm looking for? Number two, the second quality is, are they actually going to respond? And so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls himself the responder, Al-Mujib, it is because he is inviting you to ask. So the question is, do you ask? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانُ When my servants ask you about me, then I am near. I am immediately near. I respond to the call of the caller when they call upon me. You ask yourself right now, the past week, past month, how many du'as have you sat down and actually made? Most people, du'a is just something that's very ritual. If they make du'a, it's all benat inafid dunya hasil ala al And they get up back to the salah. But he made du'a like he believed that if Allah says yes, then it doesn't matter who says no. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says no, it doesn't matter who said yes. So ask yourself that question. You know, how do you make du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Like really make du'a to him. How many problems do you have in your life? How many goals? How many dreams? And you may have someone that you talk to regularly about those goals or those dreams. It could be a parent or a spouse or friends or a coach or mentor. But do you talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about these things? Allah responds to you. He calls himself the responder. But the question that you have to ask yourself is do you respond to Allah? You know that verse that I quoted earlier where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي if my servants ask about me, Allah does not say, say, does not say, Qul, O Muhammad Tawda. He says, Fa inni qari. I am immediately here. Because the companions had asked the Prophet, they said, Ya Rasulullah, Arabuna ba'idun fanunadi. Is our Lord far from us? So we call out to him. Or is our Lord close to us? So we converse privately with him. Like, tell us about Allah. Is he far from us or is he close to us? And so Allah says, when my servants ask you about me, he doesn't tell the Prophet sallallahu he says, fa inni. The fa in Arabic indicates immediacy. It means I am immediately here. Fa inni qari. Allah does not want any intermediary to be between you and him, even if that intermediary is the Prophet sallallahu himself. He responds to you. You need to respond to him and believe in him. Umar al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said, inni la ahmilu hamm al-ijaba. I am not concerned about the response to my dua. My concern is whether I make dua in the first place because I know that the response will come with it. So the homework from this session is that to make sure that you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you ask him for the big like you ask him for the small because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the responder and he loves for you to call upon him.